Differences from Forza Horizon 3 to Forza Horizon 4. Now I've seen a lot of people say that uh, Forza Horizon 4 is basically Forza Horizon 3.5 or the $60 DLC, uh, but I don't really agree with this to be honest. Um, there's a lot of different things in this game and I'm going to go over them today. Uh, basically every major or minor difference from Forza Horizon 4 to Forza Horizon 3. Uh, so first off we're going to start off with Dynamic Seasons. Now apparently this is a uh, this is obviously well known. It's becoming a meme in the community actually, which is pretty cool. Uh, but there's no doubt that this is a huge change from Forza Horizon 3. I'm not going to talk about it too much because everybody already knows about it. Uh, but yeah, they're changing every week and it's just going to be kind of a new game every week, kind of. Uh, yeah. Uh, the next thing is there's only one festival now on Horizon 3. There are four, obviously. Uh, but there's only one this time and who knows where it's going to if it's going to be like more coming but we know there's one uh one huge festival pretty much kind of like maybe the crew too how we have actually no the crew too we have a lot of different places i don't know it's different we've never seen that another thing are the super wheel spins this is obviously known uh we don't know what the super wheel spin is as of right now uh but it's probably a a greater chance at a rare car or a forza edition car because they're not horizon edition they're forza edition uh, and maybe like double the money and if we have VIP it's probably triple uh, yeah that's that a different car pass uh, like I said I reviewed this back in my uh, which version should you buy the game video which is actually there's 21 weeks two cars I like that better than having seven cars for six months because what happens there is there's only usually like three cars that are actually good and all like a lot of cars get overlooked because there's so many better cars in that like pack or something but having two cars a week we're going to be able to focus on those two cars more i think it's a way better decision uh, to do that a huge difference no toyota manufacturer or maybe six supra all that stuff uh but as of right now we've only seen the helix and i think another toyota truck i'm not sure but they're kind of hinting that Toyota might be in this game, but I don't think so. Uh, next one, more off-road. This game is kind of focusing on the off-road. In Horizon 3, we, we saw a lot of off-road actually. You know, we had the desert and we had the forest area near the timber mill and Byron Bay was kind of off-road too. There wasn't a whole lot of street except maybe the interstates and the city. And so in this game, uh, obviously we're going to have a lot of off-road sections. The whole dynamic seasons thing are, is really going to change how the map is really. So yeah, we have that. Halfway through this list here, lots of new cars. Obviously the Mc, uh, McLaren Senna and the Bugatti Chiron. There's so many new cars that are in this car. It's Volkswagen. Uh, the Porsche cars at launch, Porsche, whatever you want to say. Uh, we have those at launch. So many different other cars that uh, are to come, actually. So there's a lot of new ones, and I'm excited about that. Uh, next thing is houses. There's 10 houses. We start off in the little cottage, and we build our way up to actually the uh, Edinburgh Castle as one of our houses. Uh, which I wouldn't say is actually a house, but whatever. It's a cool little progression thing. I think it's going to take in place of the uh, festivals, actually. That's my prediction. Next up is jobs. The only... We just know there's jobs to get little, like, side money and stuff, like taxi services, uh, probably stuff like people wanting you to do their danger signs for them. I don't know how much time I'm going to spend on jobs. It might be the best way to make money. Who knows? But that's new in the game. Next is character customization. If you remember in Forza Horizon 3, we only had the choice to pick from like seven characters. And now we're going to be able to do that. Pick who we want to wear. Stuff like that. Uh, drift customization is new in the game. Before, really, the only drift things you can do were to put the uh, anti-roll bars and get rally suspension, drop the rally suspension, and make everything stiff pretty much, and like make your tire pressure all high. But now we can do like angle kits and stuff, uh, which is really nice. One other thing, which uh, I'm not sure 
it's like this is new to, if you have the xbox one x is uh 4k 60 frames per second and the last thing which a lot of people are confused on is the 72 player lobbies right uh it's basically six lobbies of 12 uh because everybody's gonna be ghosted except people on your friends list uh so that's this video um not a long one uh, just the key differences between Forza Horizon 4 and Forza Horizon 3. I got a funny skit uh, for Forza Horizon 4 coming up here soon, so make sure you subscribe to that. You're not going to want to miss it. It's kind of a meme, uh, so it's going to be really good. Make sure you check that out. It'll be up in a couple days. Uh, working on it right now. See you guys then. Next time. Peace.